thank you all for being a part of this uh, historic and really important occasion as we come together uh, once again this week. Uh, been a habit, I guess. But once again, for an exciting announcement in terms of our athletic program at Lipscomb University. Uh, we are so appreciative for the team and for coaches and for uh, all of you who are part of this community and so many friends and supporters. Uh, thank you for being excited about this moment and sharing it with us. Uh, I had the opportunity to uh, interview the person who will be introduced to you in just a few moments, and as we were sitting in my office talking, uh, two things uh, became uh, apparent to me, uh, or at least stood out in terms of our conversation. One was, uh, we were talking about you guys and how well you have done, and uh, how this last two years has been such an impressive time for Lipscomb basketball, and uh, the coach uh, suggested, I'm sure in jest, uh, that it only made it more difficult uh, for him. And uh, that probably is true on one level, and yet it's set a new standard. Uh, it's restored Lipscomb basketball to uh, days that many, many of you remember. And so even though it is a bit more difficult, uh, we think that's a foundation we can build on. The second thing he said, and I hope he doesn't mind me sharing this, is uh, I asked him, you know, why Division One? And uh, he was very candid, said, you know, I can coach the rest of my career, and uh, that's just not the ultimate in my life. Uh, I think he's excited about a Division I program. I think he's excited about what can happen here. But uh, it, it wasn't that that seemed to be motivating him in the moment. What seemed to be motivating him was a sense, and he shared it something like this. Uh, I would like to continue my career in a place uh, where my faith, could be as visible as my coaching. And I think that is a remarkable... Uh, <laughs> a remar remarkable comment and uh, the recognition that certainly in our culture and our society at some institutions one can't bring that and uh, have that as visible and profound as it could be. Uh, but here is a university where we absolutely expect uh, the highest in terms of performance uh, but we also have continued to claim this sense that there is more than even what happens on the court. And it's the character that's developed in the lives of young people, and it's that character they take into their lives and into the world, and so I'm particularly pleased that that part of our interview uh, reflected uh, his sincere desire to be in that kind of community. So thank you for being here and a part of this exciting moment. Uh, the person who has stayed up late for the last 13 nights, perhaps all night, some nights, talking to dozens and dozens and scores of people uh, all over the country and even around the world, uh, along with Matt Payton, who has been working hard at this, is our athletic director, uh, who has uh, gotten to the point of uh, our having this announcement today. Would you please welcome Philip Hutchinson? Well, I'll start this uh, time with the way I usually end a lot of letters to say it's a great day to be a bison. And so uh, I'll start it that way. It is a great day. Um, I do want to say thank you to uh, several people. I see uh, uh, Dr. Lowry obviously has been instrumental in this and has really been supportive of our programs, not just basketball, although very supportive of that, but all of our programs. And I appreciate that. I see uh, David Solomon is the chair of the board, and so on behalf of the uh, department, thank you to the board for their support, and it's, it's really important to have that kind of support. The, the board meets in this room actually four times a year, and uh, it's great to have friends uh, uh, who have been, uh, been a part of that, so thank you for that. I do appreciate that. I want to thank the department, too. Um, you know, we have 17 sports at Lipscomb. This is one of them. Women's basketball is one of them. We have 15 others that are going on right now, and uh, when you're in a search like this, you have to kind of focus in for a few minutes on something, And but, but everybody uh, in our department continue to do the job and support all of our teams, and that's really important. So I, I want to say thank you to them. And, uh, and uh, Roger Edstrom, who uh, is our, uh, served uh, in the interim and uh, with us, and uh, well, uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, and former Bisons, I see plenty of them. We, you know, I say all the time, we we're standing on their shoulders. You hear that other places, but that's true here too. And we would have never uh, been able to make any of the moves we've made in the past to get to where we are today if it weren't for the guys that went on before. 
Uh, and so some of them are here today, and I appreciate all of you guys. I see a few of you right in this area right here. So um, thank you for that. And uh, finally, the fans. I mean, uh, I know one of the things, you know, Manny uh, comes from a, a place with a great basketball tradition. He's helped to build that basketball tradition. And there's a lot of people who... Uh, who love Charger basketball, and, uh, and and that's a big part of what he's done. And uh, and I told him, I said, I know it's difficult when you leave a place, uh, people you love, and a place that you love. That's tough. I said, but what I'm, what I'm going to tell you is you're going to find that you will love the people here, and that's always been the secret sauce of Lipscomb, and it still is. And so the last group I want to thank is sitting right here on the front row. Um, uh, these guys have been fantastic the whole way through. It's a difficult process whenever you have a change. Uh, they've been champs with it, kept on doing their thing, and uh, looking forward to great days ahead. So uh, thank you to those guys as well. I won't, I won't go through the process except to tell you Dr. Lowry's right. There are a lot of people interested in this, this job. Again, that's a credit to the university. That's a credit to the program. Credit to where we are right now. Um, many people that we talked to, but out of that emerged uh, a, a, a man that uh, kind of stood above the rest in terms of what we were looking for and needing at this time. Uh, Lenny, as you've probably read by now, if you've read any of the releases, I mean, he's got a laundry list of accomplishments uh, and uh, respected uh, at every level of basketball. Uh, one of only two uh, people that was in Division Two that was on the NABC Board of Directors, which is a high honor. Um, it tells you how that basketball world feels about him. Uh, but what was the most uh, telling and interesting to me is that every time I talked to somebody, they kept on going on and on about what a great guy he was, what a great culture builder he was, the way his, the teams loved him, the way the, you know, the people in the community loved him. And, and I really think it's telling him, and we talked about faith earlier, and I think it's one thing for people who are like faith and and background and heritage to say, you know, that, that guy is that kind of guy, uh, you know, I, I feel that way about him. I think it's really something else for people who really don't know him that well, except from their interactions, you know, uh, professionally or whatever, they recognize that in a person like that. And that's really telling that, uh, you know, even people who don't share a lot of things in common do recognize that about a man. And so that was really once we heard that, that, you know, we said, you know, we got our guy. So, um, so uh, I know the other thing I like about him is he brought a huge fan base with him. Uh, we actually had somebody from Huntsville yesterday call to get tickets. Uh, who's, I guess they're driving up for every game now. So that's, uh, that's great. We might start a bus or something. But, uh, but we also have a lot of family that's uh, fans as well. And so I wrote them down to make sure I wouldn't get them, uh, miss anybody. If I do, I apologize. A lot of you are here, but I know his wife Kelly is here. And so uh, we're glad she's here. And Molly, his daughter, and Will are right here next to him. Mom uh, they're both in college right now, so we're glad to have them. Uh, his parents, uh, Charles and Sue, are right here. And so uh, I'm sure the apple didn't fall far from the tree. So thank you uh, very much. Uh, I know uh, Terry is here, right here, I think. And uh, Jeannie's sister is over on this side. And then uh, Tom and Carrie, uh, his niece. So, uh, so the whole family, I hope I didn't leave everybody out. So, okay, perfect. All right, great. Well, uh, so I've made all those introductions, but the person you came to see is not me. It's uh, our next coach of Clips Convince Basketball, Lenny Acuff. for sure. Uh, first off, I want to thank Dr. Lowry and Philip. Uh, as I sat with them, and John was in the room also uh, last week, and we had our first visit, I'm like, that's good people. That's what you want. You want to be around really good people. And I felt like that when we talked about vision and, and where we want to go with the program, there was an alignment that I felt like, I said, this could be a good fit. And uh, I, we have, my wife and I, Kelly, have been here 22 years and raised our family in Huntsville. But there's just a real piece. This is where we're supposed to go. Um, we've been involved in several of these, and it just never was right. And uh, But really, a lot of people said, what's it like leaving when you've been somewhere 22 years? I said, it's really hard, but it needs to be hard. If you don't love where you are and you don't invest in the kids, then there's something wrong. And uh, I just, I know that when I think about Lipscomb, I, I will just tell you, and my brother and I were talking, Terry, that... I remember going to basketball camp here, and you know one of my one of my friends on the board is the coach at Springfield College, 
And that's, you know, Dr. James Naismith's school. Too. And, you know, I said, man, I can't imagine what it's like to coach there. Well, I'm not there, but I'm pretty darn close. I can tell you that. <laughs> and uh, I've, uh, you know, I just the, the level of respect that I have for basketball at Lipscomb, and I think it has been a great platform for your school. Um, I always say the stronger your product, the stronger your message. And I think we know that ultimately we have the best message. And so to have the opportunity to represent uh, Lipscomb University is, is an honor and a privilege. I'm, I'm very, very thankful, and it's a job I take very seriously. I do want to thank my family. Um, when you've done it, as long as we have it, it's, it's a family business. And uh, there's a lot of sacrifices, and, you know, I, I was fortunate. I guess in some ways I was a head coach at 25 years old, and thank goodness I didn't know what I didn't know. And, uh, and I, I have... Even after 29 years, every day I learn something new. And uh, But my wife, Kelly, who has been my best friend, um, she's great. You guys will love her. And uh, she likes to win. And, uh, and, uh, and she'll ask me, she said, what was he thinking? I, I, I don't know. I asked him tomorrow before he do, he's doing that. But, um, you know, she's she's fantastic, and I love her so much. Uh, my two children, Will and Miley, um, it will be like I tell you guys, the guys that I'm coaching, you're always proud. You're just happy when good things happen for your kids, but you're always proud of them. There's no way I could be more proud than I am of you two guys. Uh, will plays baseball at UAH. Uh, they were nice enough to let him miss practice today to come up. And, and my daughter Molly's at Auburn, and uh, she is a special, special young lady, and we love her so much. Um, my parents, you know, it's, uh, I, I, I can't tell you, you know, people tell me all the time, I hope you understand how fortunate you are that, you know, your parents are able to share all this. And believe me, I know it every day. But I've known that for over 50 years. And uh, my dad, uh, I used to tell our guys a lot, I said, in order to be a man, you have to see a man. And my dad showed me what a man was every day, every single day. And uh, my mom is the most selfless, she likes to win too, but she always thinks you guys are great no matter what. She at least to try. And I'm like, we well, need to try a little harder. We need to do a little better. Um, but um, we're real excited that I'm, I'm just so thankful for y'all. And uh, I've got the greatest brother and sister on earth. Uh, my brother's an unbelievably hardworking, successful businessman in Huntsville, and his right hand person is my sweet sister. And uh, her husband Tom and Carrie Carey is a volleyball player, and so. Um, I, I know how blessed I am, but I just want them to know how much they mean to me and how thankful I am. Um, I think that it's important that everybody in here knows that, that I understand what Lipscomb basketball is about. Um, I had the opportunity to, I, I wanted to come to Lipscomb. I wasn't good enough to come to Lipscomb. The three of the guys on my high school team played on the national championship team, Anthony Jones, Bob Ford, and Ron McQuarrie. And, um, and so... I, uh, I would have loved to have been a bison, but I remember coming to camp, and I just sat there and coming to camp and then coming to clinics and then ultimately getting to coach against Coach Meyer. He was the best teacher the game has ever had. I, 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 I cannot tell you how much he taught me, how much he, I learned from him, and the level of respect I have for what he built here. Because, you know, when, I, when a lot of people heard the last couple of days, but by the way, I had no idea I even knew 400 people. I've had 400 texts since 1 o'clock yesterday, so <laughs> I, I, if I hadn't gotten back to you, I'll try sometime. But I didn't even know I had, I, I had that many people that knew me. Um, but, but Coach Meyer was unbelievably kind to me. Uh, the first college game I ever played was in McQuitty against Lipscomb. And uh, the last game I ever coached at Berry College before I went to Huntsville was in McQuitty. And uh, but Coach Meyer would spend time with me. I stayed at his house, and uh, a lot of the things that, that I really believe make a program, I learned from him. And uh, and then also the job that's been done by Casey Alexander since he was here. Uh, he sent me a really nice text last night. He and Coach Bird have both reached out to me, and um, what a great job he's done. And I have so much respect for the culture that's been built here. And I can assure you that won't be compromised. We will stay the course with that. Um, I do want everybody to know that you know we're going to work real hard to have a great staff. Um, it will be guys that I, that you guys will like and will invest in you and will care an awful lot about you. I would say we want to coach you hard and love you harder, and that's really important to me that you guys know how important you are. And a big part for me 
in taking over the job is I felt like we needed someone that had been here. And the more I talked to people, I talked about the quality of person, there was no doubt Roger Engstrom needed to be a part of our staff. <laughs> basketball coach and he's had an awful lot to do with you guys success and I thought it would really make our transition a lot smoother and so I'm really thankful Roger you've been really great all the way through this and Sean Retigliano is back there now and and uh, Sean was uh, was I hired Sean at Huntsville he was worked for me for two years and uh, I'm really thankful he's here and I know what a great job he did for Lipscomb and so um, I'm really excited about working with all the coaches I thought Lauren was great yesterday we're gonna be pulling hard for her and um, really do everything we can to help her and you know when I when I talk I, I when having a chance to talk to Matt along with Philip at lunch I said it's important now for where we are that this is not the jumping off point it's the jumping on point I think that's really important um, I think it's important that these guys right here know that everybody supports them and you know we're losing a lot of players there's there's no secrets to that but like I told them this morning, we need each other, and we need everybody in the room. That's what we need. There needs to be a oneness. There needs to be a, a, a we need to be convicted that we're going to stay the course. And we won't deter from that. We won't compromise from that. But I'm counting on you guys. And I know them, you guys seeing all these people here, that, that's what a difference you've made here at Lipscomb. Um, I, I, I told them the best basketball game I saw all year at any level was the night they beat North Carolina State. Yeah. It, it was unbelievable. <laughs> Actually, Will, my son, wants to coach, and he was at his house, and, and we're talking, and he just texted me, are you watching this game? I usually go to bed real early. I don't, I'm not, that was a late game, and, uh, and you guys won that game, and he said, wow, what a game. And I said, they play the game the right way. That, they play the game the right way. And that's the way we've always tried to play. Um, that's the way we want, we're going to continue to play. But what I loved about them, they were tough. They were tough. They're good kids, and they represent the Lipscomb the way they're supposed to be represented. And uh, we don't want to change that. The hardest thing to do is not build it, it's to, to sustain it. Uh, we've been real fortunate at Huntsville that we've been on a really, really good run. And I would be remiss if I didn't uh, say something about those kids that were there and all the coaches that I work with. Because yesterday at 4 o'clock, I knew it was going to be hard. But it was the hardest thing I've ever done professionally to tell those young men that we were leaving. And, uh, and that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. And uh, they're just amazing young men, and they know how much they mean to me. And all the coaches I've had there, I think I've got eight coaches that are coaching at the Division One level now that work for me. And uh, they're just dear friends, and I'm so thankful for them and the Huntsville community for what they've done. I think that for where we are right now, I think it's really important that we all pull together. That I, I want all the former players to know, everyone that has supported Lipscomb basketball to know that we're committed to staying the course. I, I think the, the most powerful words you can ever tell anyone is I believe in you. That, that's the most powerful thing anybody can ever say to you. And that's what these guys have told me. And I take that job very, very seriously. And I will do everything I can not to let you guys down. Um, for our fan base, I remember playing here, and, and uh, they were asking me, as Kirk asked me today, he said, what was it like when you played here? McQuitty's lost two sides of the building since I was here. <laughs> but um, I said, I remember walking in that gym, and it was just, there were banners everywhere, and there were people everywhere. Because passionate people attract others. That's what they do. And so that's our job, is to continue to create. We, we will attack our job every day with humility, passion, and integrity. That's what we'll do. And that won't be compromised because what the school stands for and the investment in what you guys believe in means too much to me. I think at the end of the day, all this is about when, you, when you're involved in college athletics or having a chance to go to an unbelievable school like Lipscomb, you just want to make memories. That's what you want to do. You want to make memories. I, I was able to visit with a couple of folks today that walked in and said, hey, I was in New York or I was, I was there the night we beat North Carolina State. Those are memories that last a lifetime. And, but it, it, when it means something, what's on the front of your jersey, that's when it's really special. Not what's on the back, what's on the front. And that's the approach we'll take. And it, it, this is not about me. 
This is not about anybody, any one person. It's about the totality of our program, and we represent you. And I want you to know that we'll do that to the best of our ability. Um, I'm honored. Uh, I'm very thankful. I, I look forward to meeting everyone. Uh, we will we'll hit the ground running. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to, at some point, having a chance to sit at my desk and get to work. That's going to be great. You know, I, I say a lot of times we go to the press conference. That's that's kind of like the wedding. Everybody's there. Now i got to go and go to work. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, we're going to work on it. We're going to work really, really hard. And uh, we want it to be great. We do. And we're going to pursue excellence every day in everything we do. And to all the coaches that work here, I, I want to support you. I want to support your program. And I want to be the best team player and the biggest fan you have. So uh, thank you. It is great to be a Bison. And I'm really glad I'm one now. Thank you, guys. Exciting time, and uh, I would invite you to stay and visit as long as you like. It's a, a great time to be uh, with one another. Uh, Coach jacob has got a few uh, media responsibilities. Maybe right afterwards, talk to a few people here, uh, you know, about uh, uh, about today and all of that. But if you have time to stay uh, and to visit with him, great. He'll be here as long as you're here, and uh, and if you want to visit with each other, do that. So again. Uh, on behalf of Lipscomb University, Lipscomb Athletics, thank you everyone and, uh, and uh, we'll be dismissed. Thank you. Love you.